Hey everyone, I just replaced my old SSD with a new Samsung 980 Pro NVMe. This thing is awesome. It writes up to speeds of 7,000 megabits per second. Uh, however, you probably won't notice a huge speed increase from day-to-day -day stuff, but if you're dealing with large files and transfers, then this thing absolutely rocks. Um, for my old SSD, I wanted to use it as an additional hard drive just for movies, music, and anything else that I wanted to throw on it. Um, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reformat that old hard drive to work in conjunction with the, the new 980 Pro. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go right click on the start down at the bottom, and then we're going to go to disk management. Uh, you can see here I have quite a few different drives. I'm going to expand this so you can see it better. Um, so disk zero, this is my old drive. This was my SSD and I got a new NVMe drive that is disk number three. So this one's the new one that I'm using right now. I cloned this one to that one. And so now I want to use this one just as a basic hard drive where I can put movies, music, or whatever else I want to put on there. Uh, but as you can see, this one has three different sections. We actually want this one to show one section like these, so we got to go through and delete these. Um, so we know this one's disk zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to go to command prompt. And then once you're in here, you're going to want to type disk part all as one word. And then hit enter, it's gonna ask you um, if you wanna give it permission, click yes. And then a new window should open up. And then we're gonna to wanna to type list disk. Those are two different words, enter. And then we know it's disk zero. So we're gonna type in select disk zero. Okay, and it says disk zero is now the select disk, and then we want to type in list partition, and then that should give us our different partitions, and then these are the ones we want to delete all of these, so that way we can get it all as one disk. So we're going to do, starting with number one, we're going to do select partition one enter and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do delete partition override okay so it says successfully deleted the selected partition so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to type in select partition 2 and then we're going to repeat delete partition override Okay, that one's deleted, so we're gonna repeat the process for three and four, so select partition three, and then delete partition override. And then finally the last one, so we'll do select partition four, and then delete partition override, Okay, so that should be good. And then we're going to type in exit to get out of there. All right, so now we're going to go and go back into uh, disk management. And then we're going to expand this a little bit. All right, so now you can see disk zero is unallocated. So that deleted all the additional drives that I don't need anymore. So I'm gonna right click on here, and then we're gonna do new simple volume. And next, and then just leave these as defaults. And then we're gonna assign this a letter drive. This is where you're gonna see it in your, um, over here I'll show you. So when you're on the this PC, you'll see it show up on one of these, depending on what you wanna do. So we're just gonna do F, that works. And then we want to do this as NTFS. That's the default for Windows. If you're going to be using this drive between Mac and Windows, you want to choose XFAT, but we'll do NTFS. And then just perform a quick format. Just leave everything as default and hit Next, Finish.
All right, so formatting looks like it's done. So if we go and click here on new PC, you'll see we got the new drive here and now it's ready to be used. We can transfer files to it and I'm using my other existing one that I cloned. So that's it.